sorry. <laughs> we we can, can continue later on after the symposium. Uh, this was uh, an excellent introduction for the uh, for sharing experiences from uh, all over the world, and then I would like to share with you my uh, team experience. Here it is. So. So the uh, development of knee replacement must not hide the many advantages got from the high tibial osteotomy, the treatment of various knee arthritis. And uh, we would like to share with you our results and indication after the long-term follow-up. So uh, as uh, Hatim said, uh, we should have a good uh, radio radiographic evaluation before operating. and. Uh, we also should have uh, a kind of uh, classification, uh, which is uh, the one we use is based on that of Alback, a little bit modified. Uh, we also uh, have to, uh, to, to to study our criteria before operating because uh, we have to stress on the various deformity of the tibia and uh, to, 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 to see that we really have a competent medial ligament plus an adequate lateral joint space, we have to check the narrowing of the medial compartment as well as to uh, check the mechanical axis med which, would be, which would be medial to the medial compartment itself following Jacob. Our aim is a preoperative planning restore, restoring axis angle of two degrees plus an overcorrection of valgus to three degrees, that is five degrees. So uh, this is just the uh, a reminder of the open wedge addition and the closing wedge classical operation. And sometimes we uh, uh, make a kind of morselization of the inner part of the uh, uh, rejected uh, triangle uh, in the closing. And this is our series of 237 knees with a follow-up of 15 years, 0.5. Uh, most uh, patients are female and their medium age is 55 years. Uh, I think this is a, uh, not uh, an old age, is it uh, uh, medium age, Fif uh, 55 is uh, quite young. So we have uh, 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 two series one of uh, open and the other is that of closing. 128 knees open with a medium initial ACSS uh, score 99 points out of 200 and the uh, medium initial varus was uh, 13 degrees. In the closing we have uh, 100 knees, 109 knees with a medium initial HSS score of uh, 91 and the medium initial virus is only 11 because this is due to our indications and the selec selection of the patients. Among the 237 uh, knees we had uh, 35 reoperations uh, either for re HTO or totally uh, arthroplasties and uh, we had also some other complications uh, such as intraarticular fractures. In the clinical results we mainly note that uh, pain is still here in uh, uh, let's say more than 12% uh, of the patients. These are our clinical findings based on the HSS scoring. And uh, as you see, oh yes, there is a, an error in the post-op. The, uh, the, the, the 91, 99 should be green and the <laughs> 80, 81 should be uh, uh, in pink. Uh, our radiological findings 
the bond yielding delay after opening is the 70 days and the after closing is the 55 this is uh, classical and uh, the uh, obtained average valgus angle is after opening wedge uh, osteotomy after 15 years is 2 degrees reminding remaining and after closing only 4 years 4 degrees remaining so the, these are our global long term results uh, with uh, 42 good and very good results after 15 years. This is a case, first case we would like to sh uh, illustrate with. 62 year old man, left knee medial meniscectomy, who had uh, two years later a closing HTO for left knee, seven degrees varus, and osteochondritis. He, in 1997, he had a closing osteotomy in the right knee. Oh. And at the last follow-up in 2008, he, he was still satisfied and active working without crutches. Meanwhile, his left medial condyle osteochondritis healed even though the arthritic, arthritic uh, radiological aspect kept worsening. The second case is that of 63-year-old woman with a right leg opening HTO, uh, which uh, was quite satisfying, uh, which had a quite satisfying medial compartment for many years. And uh, in 1999, the right middle joint space was still looking quite satisfying, but her left knee also necessitated a closing HTO, which was complicated by a tibial metadiaphyseal mismatch visible in 2002. Uh, four years later, the knees were slightly painful and the patient was using a cane. Last case is that of a tibial diaphysis malalignment with painful right medial osteoarthritis. He had a closing HTO with good clinical result but there was a recurrence of the joint space narrowing. Uh, thanks to the NIST Society rating, uh, this is the uh, comparison between the opening and closing HTO at 15.5 years. One can see that there is a decrease of good results with time. Many authors submit that both techniques of opening and closing which osteotomy lead to comparably good clinical result, and this is to answer the question that has been put earlier. Um, and the one who said that is uh, Philippe Pernigo is here, and will be talking uh, after. Nonetheless, in our series, there were five findings worth to be noted. First, the total of the two KS scoring out of 200 after intervention was 99 for opening and 91 for closing wedge at follow-up. The key, the key squared, uh, squared test on the previous results derived a p-value which was higher than 0, 0, 0.05 uh, with a p-value of 0 0.159. So one can therefore assume that the interventions using the opening technique do not give significantly better clinical results than those using the closing technique. However, given the level of the p-value, the latter gives more suggestive rather than significant better results. Second point worth to be noted is that uh, the post-operative classification has improved slightly in both series and showed aspects at grade one, num uh, uh, two, uh, 30 cases, and so on. The QE squared test on the previous results derived a p-value which was slightly higher than 0, 0, 0.05. So one can therefore assume that a surgical intervention after 15.5 years does not give significantly better clinical results than no intervention. However, given the level of the p-value, 0.118, the latter gives more suggestive rather than sig significant better results. In addition, the initial KS scoring was somewhat lower than that of the closing wedge, while at follow-up, the KS evaluation was slightly higher. Therefore, we think that a slight preference for the opening technique should be considered since the opening technique was applied on bigger mechanical ax axis angulation that's 13 for opening and only 11 for the closing technique. Finally, 
in the literature, a whole set of statistics shows that the open wedge HTO seems to be more predictable for correcting various deformity of the knee, as seen here in uh, a picture uh, which has been taken from a book written by uh, Koshino. So, satisfactory pooled results from different centers show that 85% at two years, 75% at five years, and only 40 to 60% at 10 years. This is in favor of the decrease of the good results. Uh, there are a lot of uh, risk factors that should be studied before the operation. And these risk factors associated with failure of osteotomy are age, obesity, high adduction moment, subluxation greater than 50% uh, loss of joint space, laxity, limited mo motion, and technical error are also found, such as in the correction, etc. So, the 10 to 19 years survival rate of properly overcorrected knees after age 2 is better than that of many series of knee arthroplasty with the same follow up as said by Odenbring. So, how many degrees of hypercorrection should we use? Gautelier in France proposes three to six. Laura, three to six. Hermigo, here. Three to twelve, I found in a paper. Wow, ten. In our, series, we, in our series, we use only five degrees mechanical, but mechanical axis. So when someone talks about the how many degrees, one, we must always ask, is it mechanical, is it anatomical? And remember the pictures, the, 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 the drawings shown by Hayatim. So our indication is a little bit different from that of Hayatim, and uh, we think that the ideal candidate, we think with Martin Verhagen, that the ideal candidate of an osteotomy is a patient who has only unicompartmental osteoarthritis with limb malalignment, no flexion contracture, a range of motion of the knee of at least 10 degrees, and intact ligaments and no severe osseous defects. In summary, opening wedge would be for grades 1 to 3 and wide various angle until the age of 65 and closing is reserved for the medium varus in younger patients. In conclusion, a careful patient selection and skillful surgical technique, efficient intervention if five degrees mechanical valgus is found, uh, knees access restitution plus clinical improvement for 10 to 12 years only, and uh, uh, more severe arthritis is seen after 15 years. So an early HTO gives good results voiding de or delaying replacement, and HTO is the best choice for prevention and treatment of early osteoarthritis and also for cases of beginning or medium severity and, and probably, and we can say that in our international society, this could be also useful for economical reasons. Thank you.